Hey everyone, welcome back. Today I'm talking about what to do in high school if you want to become a doctor. Today's YouTube is in response to all the questions I've gotten here on Instagram and TikTok on what you can do even in high school to become a doctor. So get ready and take some notes. Before we begin, I want you to know it's okay if you're in high school and you have no idea what you want to do. It doesn't mean you're not going to be able to figure it out, but for those of you who think medicine might be where it's at, this can help you. First things first, if you think this path is for you, check out the AAMC website here. It's the Association of American Medical Colleges, and they have amazing resources. In fact, I wish I had checked it out when I was in high school. So the best thing you can do when you're in high school and you think you might want to become a physician is to just do the best that you can and do well. You do not need to be perfect, whether it's in high school, college, med school, and beyond, but do the best that you can. If you have access to AP courses, go ahead and take them if they're interesting to you. They prepare you for studying for college, so you already hit the ground running, and you can also take more advanced courses once you are in college because you've already done a lot of that introductory coursework in high school. Probably the best thing you can do is develop strong study habits. So whatever class you're taking, even if it's not related to science, just do your best to figure out how you can study well to do the best that you can. Not sure? Ask for help. Medicine is all about asking for help. Even when you are an attending physician at the top of your game, we ask for help all the time. So practice it now and get comfortable with it now. If you fail a class, it does not mean that your dream is over. We have all failed at something, and it's an opportunity for learning and growth. If you can get some exposure to medicine while you're in high school, that's great. Go ahead and do it. But I know that's not an option for everyone. Some ways you can do that are by shadowing a physician, and now it's easier than ever to figure out who's working in your community through resources like LinkedIn or talking to your counselors, and just reaching out to a physician and saying, hey, I'm really interested. Could I spend a day with you? Could I spend an afternoon with you in your clinic or in the operating room? And most of the times, we're pretty excited to have students who are excited about medicine because it reminds us of why we went into this field. There are even some more formalized programs like the National Youth Leadership Forum on Medicine. I've got some links here that you can consider too. They're not cheap though, so I don't want you to feel like you have to do this in order to figure out if you want to be a doctor or get into med school. I actually did one of these courses in Boston when I was in high school, and it actually turned me off of medicine because the medical students I interacted with were so unhappy. Luckily, I figured out along the way that they were the exception and not the rule, and I didn't let that stop me. Later on, I actually became a counselor for this program, and I had a ton of fun helping high schoolers see what medicine was like on the inside. And do you know a really great way that you can figure out what medicine might be like that costs you nothing? You can follow physicians on Instagram and other social media accounts. Be sure to follow wisely. If somebody is just saying that it's perfect and wonderful and there's nothing wrong with medicine, or if somebody is just constantly complaining, know that it's somewhere in the middle there. There's great things about medicine and not so great things, so try to follow people who seem authentic. Now if you're thinking, okay, great, what about college? Do I need to go to a certain college or how do I know what college to go to? There's no one size fits all answer. At a baseline, look for a college that has a good pre-medical program. And you can tell if they have an established pre-med program by looking on their website. You can also reach out to talk to them when you're in the application process to see what it is that they do to help college students prepare for and get into med school. You don't have to go to a big name school to get into medical school. And if you do go to a big name school, it's not a guarantee. The bottom line is that you just need to do your best in college and it's about finding the college that's a good fit for you. And that includes how much it costs and location and what major you might want to do. And I'm not gonna talk about that now, we'll talk about that later, but you can major in whatever you want in college and still become a doctor. So if you're a high school student who's thinking about going into medicine, I think that's awesome. But also know that it's okay to change your mind or to not even have a clue right now. And if you wanna see what it's like to be an OBGYN, go ahead and follow me on Instagram and TikTok. And of course here on YouTube too, go ahead and like and subscribe and turn your notifications on for more. If you like this kind of content, go ahead and leave me a message or leave me a question that you want me to address in a future YouTube. And who knows, it might just be the next one I make. Thanks so much for watching. Have a great day.